Hello, this is Dr. Tay. And today's video, I will talk about the chakra healing sounds. Each chakra is associated with their own personalities, I might say. At the bottom is the root chakra, at the top is the crown chakra, and everything that falls in between. And each chakra has their own characteristics of the rainbow colors. Um, they have their own sounds. They have their own way of being stimulated through different hertz. And you'll find all of these great things about chakras. In this video, I will show you how to make the sounds for each chakra. And I will make future videos about more in depth about what chakra does. But in this video, I just want to purely focus on the sounds, okay? And I'm gonna bring it all together in future videos. All right, so in order to make the chakra sounds, it's not the sound that comes from your voice box. It's not. The sound creates resonances. What I mean by resonances is vibrations. And the vibrations are palpable in the body. Where? Along the chakras. Think about that. Okay, so a lot of people practice the OM. At the end of their yoga class, right? And for those who have attended yoga class, they've been saying OM all this time. And the question is, are you saying it correctly? And other people say, you don't say OM, you read it as OM. But when you practice the OM sound, it is A-U-M, OM, right? So the second part is correct. You say OM, so let's practice both. One, say the O-H-M. Om. Where do you feel the vibration? Okay, as you're saying it, practice it. When you're watching this video, you should not just be, you know, watching this me make the sound. You should be practicing with me. So let's say Om. Versus Om. The M always ends the same. If you say um, what's happening is the ah, uh, you feel it more in the chest. Oh, it's realigning and mm ends in the top of the head. So the OM sound brings the heart, the throat, and the mind together. All right, now let's go to the first chakra. The root chakra. Root chakra is associated with the LAM sound. But instead of doing the LAM as a whole, we're going to do it by each syllable. So when you say the L sound, ooh, you should feel the vibration, or I should say you should try to say the U sound by trying to make you feel in your private areas, all the way down below. If you're feeling the vibrations in your stomach, you have to intentionally send that sound lower. Okay? So, so when I put my tongue beneath my top front teeth, it makes the Feel the vibrations when they see the ooh sound more in my um, lower part of the body where the root chakra is. So if this is my belly button, I'm placing four fingers and four fingers below. I should feel the vibrations occurring on below my uh, hand, two hands from my belly button. Ooh. 
And if you could do this sound where you could create the resonances or the vibrations to occur in your private areas, you're doing the sound correctly. I would say this is one of the hardest sounds out of all the chakra sounds, but let's get into the other sounds because the goal of this exercise is for you to practice these sounds with me so that you get a feel that these different sounds are creating different resonances or vibrations on different parts of the body. The sacral chakra is the VAM sound, V-A-M. But if you do the V, like V as in Victor, V, I feel the vibrations occurring right below my uh, belly button, right? V is right there. I could feel the vibrations hanging over there. Next sound is the solar plexus, which is right about here. There is the rib cage that comes to an apex, and there is the xiphoid process. Right about here is the ram sound. And if you say the rrrr, you feel the vibrations happening over there. Uh, for Asian people, that might be a little bit hard because they have this trouble saying the R sound. If you're from Asia, if you're Asian American, you should be having an easier time. You have to roll the tongue behind your um, mouth. You could definitely feel it in that area. Next is the Yam sound. The Y, you can feel it in your heart chakra. Next is the Ham sound, which is the throat chakra. You can feel the muscles contracting. And the goal is not to contract, is to create vibration. And if you're having a hard time, just because you can't do it today does not mean you can do it one day. And my recommendation is that you need to practice to know how to make these sounds correctly so that you are making the correct vibrations and resonances in the correct part of the body. And if you could get that right, we can do a lot of fun practices with these chakra sounds. Next sound is the ha. I feel the vibrations occurring right there. It's very easy. And out of all the sounds, in my, in my personal opinion, is the third eye chakra sound. Is the K and the S. The K. I feel it like a, like, like a point leading up to it. And if I add the K, somewhere in the eye. If I make the k k I feel vibrations occurring right here. And last is the OM sound. In some texts, they'll say that OM is the sound for the, um, the third eye and this. Is that true? Well, they're not wrong, right? But each chakra has their sound. Does the OM sound um, encompass a lot of it? The answer is yes. But I like to, in this video, I like to show that um, each chakra has their own sounds. And um, what is that? The KSAM. You should feel right over here in your third eye. Um, and last is the OM sound, which we practiced earlier. It's OM, which a lot of people are doing. The second way is OM. So you're saying three syllables. A, U, M. OM. And you should feel the vibrations occurring down the midline to your head and to the top. And if you could feel it at the top of your head, the mmm sound, it's 
more uh, more accurate. So it's so let, from the start, let's practice the first sound. And for each sound, we'll take each breath. So we breathe in. And on the exhale, we practice the sound. Okay. So ready. The lam sound, the root chakra. La. One more time. And let's do it a lot slower. So the goal is to not make the lam sound, but each syllable. La. Next, the secret chakra. Next is the solar plexus, the ROM sound. Next is the YAM sound. Next sound is the HAM sound. The YAM sound was the heart chakra. Now we're up to the throat chakra. It's the HAM sound. HAM. Next is the third eye chakra. KSAM. And last is the OM sound. Om. The human body, when you make these different sounds, you are resonating at different levels in a vertical line state. And by resonating at different parts of the body, the goal is to feel and clear the chakras. And on my next week's video, I will get more into each chakra, one chakra at a time. And towards the end of the series, I'm going to bring all the chakras together and we will learn how to transform your emotions. Um, each chakra is associated with specific type of emotions. So if you have been stressed out, worried about something, anxious about something, afraid of something, this, is, this series will teach you how to transform negative emotions to positive emotions. On my Instagram post, I made a reference to the avatar, Aang, um, his, where his guru taught him how to open up all the chakras. We're not gonna be copying that meditation, but it's gonna be very similar to that. And will you get into the avatar state? The Well, I would hope so, and if you do, you got something to show me. <laughs> um, but. The goal of this exercise is to equip people out there learning how to make the correct sounds and doing proper meditation. And there is a great video by Dr. Huberman from Stanford who has showed lateral eye movements and the research that goes along with that and that it helps overcome a lot of traumatic experiences. Right now in the pandemic, we're going through a period of great turmoil financially health-wise, and mental health. So this series is there to help everyone. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you know that what uh, when we're releasing the videos. And please share with anybody that might be interested. So if you have a yoga friend, uh, please watch them with them, with them. And you can practice this uh, video with them and grab a friend to do it together. So stay tuned and hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.